No lack of energy with the Timbers Army. It's Diego Valeri with the rain coming down hard. Valeri! Newstead across to tip it aside. And again, no reward for Caleb Porter's side. The clock ticking here. Last chance. This is Rodney Wallace. Thought about the shot, thinks about it again. On from Valeri, the breakthrough is in a routine off the post. Well, that just sums up the afternoon for the Timbers. Having dominated the home leg of their series with the Vancouver Whitecaps, but still coming away with a scoreless draw, the Portland Timbers season would end in Vancouver if they couldn't score again. Going into the Vancouver series, we felt we were the two best defensive teams and we knew it would be tight. With the away goal tiebreaker, we knew that we could get through with a 1-1 or 2-2 draw and we knew we could score goals on the road. We've been very good on the road. So we felt we were in a good spot. The Timbers had finished the regular season as the hottest team in the West and carried a four-game winning streak into the conference semifinals. Oh, but their Cascadia Cup rival from Vancouver were also riding high, hosting an MLS playoff match for the first time in their history. We welcome you to BC Place in Vancouver. They are calling it the Whitecaps' biggest night in 30 years. Wow, that's the loudest I've ever heard it here. It's on, boys, it is on. And we are underway at BC Place. Vancouver was a difficult matchup for us. They could really fly on the counterattack, and we knew with our possession type of a game, there'd be many opportunities for them to do that. They definitely came out flying. Harvey's ball played back towards Kakuta Mane. Mane with a shot across goal. Kakuta Mane was very dangerous. Mane's pace has been scaring Major League Soccer defenders all season long. Our number one worry was Kakuta Mane. They definitely had a couple chances. Kakuta got loose a couple times. And he does really well here. Kakuta Mane from distance. Oh, Kakuta Mane so close. What a great individual effort. He's able to hit a very good shot that hits the post and hits off Adam's head. And if Adam had had a little bit of hair on his head, it might have gone in. We're very lucky to get away from that situation without giving up a goal. The Timbers couldn't contain Vancouver striker Kekuta Mane. But the fates intervened when Mane slipped and turned an ankle while on the attack. The speedster is down. Mane can't continue here. Massive blow for Vancouver. I feel bad for him leaving the game, but it definitely helped us, you know, in, in terms of uh, not having to worry about that threat. When he went out, the game turned in our favor and allowed us to attack more in the left channel. We worked a lot on all week getting in that left channel, and the reason is we felt when Waston is able to just sit in and just head balls out and block shots, he's a real key. Uh, reason why they've been so good defensively. He's a beast. And so we felt if we could get in that left channel and pull him out and then look to play a ball on the ground in a cutback, uh, that we could score a goal that way. Happened off a throw in. Throw in for Portland. This is Valeri now from towards Addy. What a finish from Addy. Because they have big guys, we work at during the, the week, put numbers on the, uh, on the left side and trying to make a cutback into the box. We know that the, the chance will be there to score. We talked about pulling the defenders out because uh, they sit very deep. That's why I stayed in the box. When I saw uh, Diego Valeri beat one of the players, all that came to my head was a cutback. And the Portland Timbers get that vital away goal half an hour in at BC Place. Goals change games, and after we scored that first goal, there was definitely a shift, and um, I think that gave us you know, a ton of confidence, um, knowing that they had to come back and score two goals against us. The K 
key message at halftime was the more we can have the ball, the more they can attack. You don't want to just, you know, absorb for 45 straight minutes, and the best way to manage that is to have the ball. The strategy was just to keep pressing. Coach told us, uh, you don't have to sit back, because if you sit back, they're just going to mount on us. So uh, we went out to score an, uh, another goal. Now for your Austin clears away only as far as Valeri. Valeri straight at Osted. We had a couple of chances to score in the first part of the second half. Valeri's balling towards the six yard box. Osted had to make a save. In the 50 to the 60th minute, I thought we really took kind of the, the energy out of their team and the energy out of the stadium as well because we were the ones with the ball. Austin, now Nagby down the left side, comes out towards Wallace. That takes away their transition game and forced them to play in a, in a reckless way. Eventually, we knew they'd have to start gambling. They tried to, to put uh, long balls and put numbers forward. And, uh, you know, at that time, the last 10, 15 minutes, the counter, uh, it was open. Morales loses out, and this is Chara. Into the path of Adi. It's Fernando Adi. Now it's Chara to finish it for Portland. Diego Chara. Portland Timbers get their second goal to make sure. And the Whitecaps season will be coming to an end. I'm proud of the fact that in two years, out of the three, we've been in the Western Conference Finals. We've accomplished that first step of being a realistic contender, a team that's in the playoffs. But the next step is to actually win a trophy. In order to reach their first MLS Cup Final, the Timbers will have to defeat Red Hot FC Dallas. This is going to be a fun series. Dallas presents a ton of difficult challenges for us. They're just a tremendously mobile team. They're very fast. They, they can break very quickly on the counter. What makes them good is that they've got energy and they're young. They've got a lot of confidence. So you have two teams that are very confident right now. But for us, the one big difference I'm seeing is in 2013, we were confident, but in some ways, maybe we were reckless with that confidence. We, we seem to have a little bit more composure and maturity. You know, I'm thinking this year, that's the big, big reason we're going to continue moving on. The last six games, you're unbeaten. And we got three games to go, and we got two teams in our way. We made it this far. We might as well win it, huh? Hey. Hey. And it's our year. Well done, boys. Yeah, boys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.